I would say the, the biggest key is consistent contact. And to do that, you want to hit the sand more or less always in the same spot. Right. So when I'm practicing at home, many times I draw a line in the sand. What's that? That's probably, what, an inch and a half, two inches behind as well? You've yes, given that where you want to go in? about that. And you obviously want to see the, the, the club getting in where the, where the mark is yeah. and coming out yeah. after, after the ball. Yeah, so, so it's using the cushion of sand there as well. Exactly, yeah. So we're going to hit out towards this basket that's just on the green here as well. So yeah. hard so for you to see there, but let's have a look. Go and talk us the rest. Basically, a little more weight on the left, probably 60-40 to yep. help with the, with the steep angle of attack. Uh, open club face, try to keep it open on the way back. Yeah. And then just hit the sand where you made the mark. Oh, we see that's not bad, is it? Even you, Francesco, sometimes find the odd bunk and you get a bad light. So get it in there. So it's just a little bit of a fried egg there as well. I know there's not a huge amount of sand in this one, but how would you go about with this then? And okay, what would you expect yeah. to get the reaction from here as well? So obviously you're not going to get the same height and, and you're not going to get any spin on it. So you need to account for the release of the ball anyway. Uh, the biggest key is managing to get the club not to hit the ball, but to go in the sand underneath the, the ball and yeah. then come up again. So yeah. In this case, the so way... So you still throw a bit of an open face at this if there's enough sand, would you? Yeah, or? yeah, I, I would, yeah, yeah. I know some, some people prefer to play with the closed open face, yeah. with the closed face. I think that works if you've got room for the ball to release, but if you're short-sighted, obviously you need more height if possible. I like so that, yeah. I would say open your stance more and go with more weight on the left, probably almost 80-20. Uh, that allows you to be obviously very steep, very vertical on the ball. And you just trust in the loft on the face, you're not trying to obviously, because yeah. you know, a lot of people try and help these yeah. sort of shots out. You, just... you almost have to go against your instinct and try to hit down on the ball to make sure that the club, the club head doesn't hit the ball but goes underneath the ball. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, 80-20. You're giving it the big build up, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> then a, a vertical, vertical swing. I think one, one thing that helps is to aim quite a long way left. Yes. So if you see, my target is almost there and yeah. I'm almost Very 90 open. degrees to yeah, the left. Yeah. And see what happens. A little pop out as well and feeding out towards the yeah. hole.